Tierra here with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today's soap is inspired by Hawaii. I was going through my phone trying to find some pictures of Luke when we knew it was his time to go. I just wanted to collect every picture that I had and I came across some pictures from 2015 from a trip to Hawaii that I took. And in one of them specifically, I am drinking out of this giant coconut. And I just feel like every time I go somewhere that's very tropical, it is not complete unless you find some kind of fancy drink that comes in a fruit. <laughs> so I started brainstorming Hawaii, what would it look like, what would I want the soap to be based around, and I started thinking about a Hawaiian sunset. So that's what I am going to be doing today. It's a two-day process because I have the PVC pipes out today. We're going to be making the sun embeds for the columns first that will go inside of our ocean, sunset over the ocean in Hawaii soap. So I've just poured in my lye solution into my oils. There's also Tussa Silk, Sodium Lactate, Coconut Milk Powder, and Kaolin Clay in here, and we're going to give it a little whip. That is mixed up very nicely. I'm going to pour off a little bit into this little cup that has some yellow vibrance from Nurture. Just hopefully to get a little bit of a swirl in this yellow sun here. And then into this big bucket, I am going to dump the rest of this kernel mustard yellow that I got from Soapbox Mike, because I think I still have another bag of this. And I'm going to just use up the rest of this bag. Hopefully these yellows aren't too similar in color. That looks good, and we'll give that a quick mix. The fragrance I picked out for this is called Hawaiian Coconut, and it's by Crafter's Choice. And it has a fusion of juicy tangerine, papaya, and coconut in it. No violin, so it should not discolor. I'm going to hand mix that in. Do a little in... Oh. Oh my gosh, that rice, oh my god, that is the worst ricing fragrance I have ever seen. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm going to have to put my stick blender to this. Hopefully I can get some of that out. Oh my god, you guys, do you see how that looks? It looks like curds in there. Oh, crap. Well, I know how the rest of the soap is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Let me give that a quick mix. Hopefully I can still do my in the pot swirl and get this into the PVC pipes. Naughty fragrance. Alright, back the next day to finish this design, and I think I have everything together here. So I unmolded those suns, and I've cut them in half to look like the sun is setting, or it will look like the sun is setting in the water. I am going to be doing a couple different layers here. I think I'm going to start off by doing some blues with this tropical, tropical teal and cashmere from Nurture, and they're going to represent the water. I'll do a little in the pot swirl with those. I'll put the sun in, and then I'm going to layer and texturize going from maybe the orange. This is a sunset orange mica from Brambleberry. What's left of that? Then I'll go to red with my red obsession, and I'll end it with some purple. This is a soapbox mica purple called Anemone. And now that I know how that fragrance behaves, <laughs> I'm going to 
work a little bit differently. Typically I would get to a trace and then hand stir in my fragrance, but I'm gonna whisk, I'm gonna separate into each layer and then before I get it to a trace, I'm going to add in my fragrance and mix it in so I'm not like mixing it to trace and then having to over blend it. That is the plan. So I'm gonna whisk this together. We'll start off with our first two layers which will be the blue to represent the ocean. Wish me luck. Zero out of ten would I recommend this fragrance for cold process soap. So to finish it off, I took some olive oil and some of that sunset orange and drizzled it on there with a chopstick. I tried to make some pretty swirls in it. And now I have some melt and pour hibiscus flowers. 
put on top. I went back and looked up the fragrance again just to see how it behaved. I know when I picked it out, I was like, I like the notes, there's no vanillin in it, and that's why I grabbed it, but I never look at the stupid um, how it behaves part, and it's right there. I know not a lot of um, soap companies offer that, and I obviously don't take <laughs> um, advantage of it. So it says as far as acceleration, it says severe acceleration and for ricing it says none. And although, you know, if something separates and then you have to beat it up a whole bunch, it's, it's going to accelerate. But I think that fragrance won an award for um, ricing in my opinion. That was a big no-no and something that I will never ever use again, but I think I made it work. I think. We will see. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of these on. I'll give it a little bit of glitter. We'll spray it with some rubbing alcohol to avoid any soda ash. Because what else could go wrong? And then I'll bring you guys back when I cut this in 24 hours to see how it turned out on the inside. So it's the next day, still can't say I feel any better about that fragrance. There are so many blow holes in this soap, but it's the inside that matters, right? So this is what the inside of it looks like, and that I am not mad at. That is what I was going for. Got our little water and our sun and our colorful sky to match our setting sun over the ocean. That is what I wanted. <laughs> I have to admit, this soap has me missing Hawaii. It's definitely a place that I would love to visit again and take Bradley because he did not get to go with me the first time I went. And maybe even visit a different island, but I got to climb Diamond Head Volcano. I attended a luau. I left with a tattoo for a souvenir. It is such a beautiful place to visit. The water is just like so pretty. Sand is pretty, food is great, <laughs> and very expensive. <laughs> that is the biggest downfall. That and the plane flight. I've taken plenty of plane flights in my life and I gotta say, Hawaii was the worst flight ever to and from. And I did it by myself. <laughs> so that might have had a little bit to do with it, but Whew, that was a rough journey. So worth it though. All right, you guys, this soap will be available on June 26th. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> and my struggle <laughs> to make this soap work. If you did, please give me a thumbs up if you are new to the channel and enjoy soap making or watching soap making. Don't forget to subscribe have any questions or comments you can leave them for me in the comment section down below and until next time i hope you have a very nice day i will smell you later